let's learn how to make mesmerizing monogram patterns in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. So with Illustrator open, let's create a new document. So come to File New. Let's set up the document for a standard web, so RGB 72. And I'm going to create a square document. So I'm going to go 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. Let's use the standard size for Instagram. Happy with all my other settings, and from there, click Create. With the document open, let's go to View Show Grid and let's go to Illustrator Preferences and General, Command or Control K for Hotkey, and under Grids and Guides, decide how big or small you want your grids to be. So I'm going to set a grid line every 20 pixels, happy with that, and from there click OK. Then come to View, Snap to Grid, come to your Fill and Stroke, switch so that your fill is black and your stroke is white, and we're going to check off the stroke so we just have a black fill and no stroke and if I command or control plus to zoom in I can now use these grid guides to create my pattern so come over grab my rectangle tool remember now I'm snapped to grid so I can draw out my pattern using the grids to help me and go ahead and create your monogram pattern so I'm just going to create a pattern very quickly and again I'm using the grids to guide me you can see this snapping to the grids And to continue drawing rectangles, draw one out, press V to switch the selection tool, and then press M to come back to your rectangle tool and continue to draw as such. And once you've completed your monogram pattern, let's just command or control minus to zoom out a touch, grab a selection tool, and let's select everything on the canvas and let's just join this using the pathfinder so we'll unite this shape together. Then bring up your swatches panel. And if you can't find it, you come to Window and Swatches. Use the Selection tool, click and drag the shape you've made, and click and drag it into the Swatches panel. You see that little green plus appears. That means Add to Swatches. So Release, and you can see now we've added the little pattern there. And from here, we can delete this if we want, or move it to the side of the canvas, just so we can come back to that shape at any time. Let's view Turn Off Snap to Grid, and also view Hide the Grid. With your swatches panel open, double click to adjust the pattern. So now we're inside the pattern. You can see here we're in new pattern swatch two. So we can make some changes to the pattern options. So we can change the tile type. So let's say brick by row. We can also create distance between the pattern by adding to the width and height. So for example, let's say add 20 pixels to each. So 160 to the width and 200 to the height. And we can also change the offset here and make various other changes. So once we're happy with the pattern, click done. And that takes us out of the pattern and back into the artboard. I can also make duplicates of this pattern by selecting the pattern swatch, click and drag in onto the create new icon, and there I'll create a second pattern. So I can adjust the color, say, in this one. So if we come to the second pattern, double click to go in. And then if I use the selection tool, select the shape, and then maybe let's change the color. So we'll change that to an orange, press done. And there we go. I now have two patterns, one that's black and one that's orange. And Again, I can double click to go in any time and both these patterns are fully adjustable. So let's apply this pattern as a fill. So if I just command or control minus to zoom out, let's select a background color. So I'm just going to select this green, grab my rectangle tool, click on the canvas and create a rectangle the size of the canvas. So 180 by 180, press OK, select with selection tool, use my align panel and align to artboard horizontally and vertically. And let's create a second rectangle to apply our pattern to. So click. 1080 by 1080, press OK. So right now the fill color is the same as this. So if we come back to swatches and we just select the pattern here, that now applies the pattern as a fill color. Select with selection tool and let's just align this horizontally and vertically to the canvas. And finally then, if we want to make changes to this pattern in terms of the size, in terms of orientation, if we come to our appearance panel, if you can't find it, go to window appearance. If I select the pattern fill here, come down to FX, go to distort and transform, and transform and then in the transform effect panel check off transform objects and check off scale strokes and effects we've just got transform patterns make sure your scale link is checked on so that the horizontal and vertical move together and from here now if we make sure the previews on we can scale the pattern down or up using the sliders or by inserting manual amounts. So let's scale this down. We can also reflect it in the X or Y axes. And also we can rotate the pattern by clicking and dragging the angle here or by entering a manual amount here. Once we're happy, press OK. And we've now adjusted the pattern. And at any time, if you come back to the appearance panel, select this fill and click the transform effect here, you can go back in 
and continue to make more changes and adjust the different sliders and just press OK to make those changes. And finally as well, if we come back to our swatches panel, if we want to change the color of this then, we can either go back into this pattern and change the color or we can use that pattern we made earlier. So if we just check this, that changes the color to the orange pattern. So let's just change this background color. So with the pattern selected, object, lock and selection, so this is locked in place. Let's select the fill color that's behind it and either using the fill color or the swatches, let's select a different color, the contrast a bit better. So there we go, that looks good. And from there then, object, unlock all. And we now have our new pattern here and the fill color behind it. And there you have it, super simple, mesmerizing monogram patterns in Illustrator in a matter of minutes. Fully customizable using the pattern transform and swatches panels. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial.